Alrighty then. So basically, quad crashed uh, two days ago for absolutely no reason, pretty much fell out of the sky. I thought it was because this bullet connector got loose, and I thought the sound that it was generating, the did 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 was because this was disconnecting and connecting just because of the vibrations on the frame, or the connection was just really bad. But, yeah. Now I was reading a thread on the Copter Control forums, and apparently there's a problem that I could be having with cogging. So, just quick notes on my setup. Got the Nanotech 2200 milliamp hour, uh, whatever, three cell battery. Um, that goes to a wire distribution board that I made myself. It's a F30 ESC flashed with the Simon K firmware. Um, uh, these are the 2826s, uh, 1200 kV, the Just motors. Just, yeah. Uh, Copter Control 3D and Futaba receiver with mine. The one that came with the Futaba 8FG Super. All right, so excuse the purple feet. I'm still purple from Frosh Week because engineering Frosh. Now, this is the only ESC that's plugged in. All the other ones I unplugged for safety because I don't want to cut my feet up. But let's arm the ESC. So, as you can see, yeah, you should be able to see the throttle position. If I move it up. When I do it slowly, there are no issues, but if I just throw it to 100 like so, it screams. And if it's flying, it's like that. So these are the two conditions that I found. So let me just make it safe. When you go from 0 to 100, it just basically squeals, screeches, and doesn't move at all. Um, when you're at a medium to medium high speed, or basically as long as the prop's moving and you jam it to 100, it goes into that wah, 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 wah. But if you go kind of slowly, just do a nice smooth curve up to 100, then it has no problems. But obviously what happened was the copter control was, uh, excuse me, compensating for the wind that was going on on the day of my flight. And uh, I guess it compensated so well that the motors couldn't handle it, or the uh, firmware, I guess, couldn't handle it, and they went absolutely bonkers. And that caused the quad to flip over and fall out of the sky. <laughs> so now, um, yeah, the motor is already warm, which I didn't expect. Usually after a flight, or after anything really, is cold to the touch. And the ESC is also warm, which normally never happens either. I chose the 30s because they were supposed to run cold on this setup. Uh, these are 9-inch... By f with a pitch of 4.7, these are gem fan props, um, and yeah, so I just wanted to let everybody know about the issue. I'm going to try to use the Wii ESC firmware that was modified by Hawk on the forum, and we'll see how that turns out at a later date when I can get to a room where I can actually solder stuff because in my dorm, I'm not allowed to have a soldering iron. In other news, FP FPV stuff is here, uh, that's Frosh Week stuff, just where are that. Um, yes, yeah, so I got the receiver, transmitter, and I got, nope, not here, I got a cross here and here, as well as my other receiver, a bunch of other stuff, eagle tree stuff as well, yeah. it's not the actual stuff, here it is, all that fun stuff as well, so, I'm going to be putting that together, using the other arms to build the overmined quad frame, and I have extra ESCs this time in case things go crazy. Alright. Oh, also got the dominators. <laughs> so yeah, in time.